All right, I've been in the repaint business for 22 years, and these are the products I like to use on all my paint jobs. For the exterior of houses, I like to use the duration satin for block walls or stucco walls or fascia boards, whatever I have to paint on the outside. This is the product that I go to first and try to sell to people first. This is a secondary product that I use to super paint exterior acrylic latex for my exterior. So these are the two paints that I used most all the time on 95% of my repaints. Uh, on the interiors, I go with the satin super paint for interior walls and bathrooms and kitchens. And all the rest of the house, I use the cashmere low luster for uh, living rooms, halls, uh, anywhere else in the house. This is the product that I use. The cashmere, I find, is, a, is an excellent product. And uh, for my trim, for most of the time, if I'm repainting over a latex trim, I use the Super Paint Semi Gloss for a door doors and trim. The one product I'm not showing in here is the Emerald Urethane Enamel, which is good to use if you're going over top of oil-based doors or trim where they've previously been painted with oil-based paint. If you do use a product like this over top of oil-based paint, you're going to have to really sand it good and degloss it before you can use a product like the uh, super paint and you may even want to prime your trim with a, a oil based primer before you apply that but the reasons I use these paint is because of the number one reason is ease of application and the durability of the product to me these products I, and I've used a lot of different paints over the years I've used all the bare products Valspar I've used uh, Porter paints I've used Benjamin Moore products uh, the problem with me using Benjamin Moore, and the reason I don't use Benjamin Moore is, for number one, is uh, the closest store is, you know, it's a good, it's the next town over, it's a good ways away, but they're a small store, and you'll go in there one day to get five or ten gallons of paint, you'll go back to get a gallon to finish the job, guess what? Well, we don't, we won't be able to get that order until next week, so it's got to be convenient for me. So I can't, you know, I can't go that route. Uh, so the next, the number two reason is the price point of the products. I get these all at a really good price point. That's one thing Sherwin-Williams will do is they'll work with you on pricing. Uh, they've worked with me really well on my pricing and got my pricing where I need to be. And I have no problem with their products. Uh, the number three reason is the convenience and availability of the products going back to that convenience i have a sherwin williams store within one and a half miles of my house and have another store 12 miles from my house and they're all they always have these products when i need them they're always stocked so i never have to worry about them not having any of the products that i use uh, number four is they are a proven product and easy to sell jobs so when I try and sell these, sell a paint job to a homeowner, I have no problem selling this. Sherwin-Williams basically sells itself and people trust the product, um, which, you know, relates to more contracts. So it's going to get me more contracts and uh, for, the, for the price point that I need to get these jobs. But anyway... Uh, yeah, these products are all excellent. If you haven't used any of these products, I recommend you try these out. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about what I pay for these paints uh, because it's it's not it's not right. I, it took me a lot of years to negotiate the way I got it priced out where I can get these paints. But I will tell you, it's uh, it's not so, it's it's not even so much cost as it is the how good these products are. I mean, these products are excellent. The biggest Achilles heel of Sherwin Williams products that I found though. Okay, the biggest complaint and problem I have is their trim paint Pro classic emerald all these other paints They tend to be a little hard to work with They they're they're tricky. They just I don't know man. They're just they'll either run on you They'll sag 
you know, they'll dry too quick. There's just always a problem. So with my trim and doors, I've always went back to the super paint semi gloss because it's it's always done me done me well on on trim and doors. Uh, some people will say, well, that's a wall paint. You can't use that. I beg to differ. The super paint semi gloss, you know, well, it's it's not an enamel. An enamel is a term. Okay, when you're using a satin, a semi gloss, a gloss, they're all enamels. They're all enamels. They're all going to, uh, over time, develop a hard finish. And even though the, the super paint is not supposed to be an enamel, it develops a hard finish over time. And I've never, I've went back to my jobs after I did them two, three, four years down the road, and the trim and doors still look awesome on the paint jobs. But anyways, that's just some of the reasons I use the Sherwin-Williams paint. And these are the products I use, the, uh, going back to the... Uh, just a real quick uh, overview. Duration, this is my first choice, the satin on exterior walls, on, uh, on uh, uh, stucco surfaces. Before you apply this though, you may want to use a, a chalky surface conditioner, especially if the paint has, is, it has, uh, has been chalked at all, you know, uh, broken down over time. Even on vinyl surfaces or aluminum surfaces, you want to prime first and uh, use like a locks on clear or something like that before you use this and same with this product if you're going to use this on the stucco uh, the super paint interior satin is an excellent paint that that will not hat band on your picture frame the flat super paint tends to hat band or or uh you know you uh, picture frame where you can see where you brush and you roll the flats have more of a chance of doing that than the satin does. The satin's more forgiving. The cashmere low luster is the best one I've used yet on walls where everything blends nicely, the rolling and the brushing, and you, and you really can't tell the difference. It's an excellent product. And going back to the Super Paint Semi Gloss for trimming doors, this is what I use. But anyway, that's uh, the paints that I use and some of the reasons of why I use them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I didn't get into real too much details, but I don't want to drag this video out, out too much. But over 22 years of painting, these are the products that I use almost uh, day in and day out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all have a great day.